Inside this abandoned McDonald's, there's something cooking that's out of this world. Where customers used to down Big Macs, an ancient videotape machine spits out grainy images. There's lunar circles. Behind the counter, next to the Fry Master, endless stacks of tape reels. The former fast food joint has now become mission command for a new effort to save some old NASA history. We may have ended up in some lab behind the NASA fence, but instead we're in this actually pretty cool place. And that cool place holds some important footage. There are more than 1,500 video reels here from the 1960s, all being preserved in protective canisters. On those tapes, mankind's first close-up images of the lunar landscape, rescued from four decades of dusty storage inside NASA. These would have ended up in a dumpster. Instead, Dennis Wingo and his team of engineers are using modern technology to recover the original images, which, four decades later, remain the most detailed pictures of the moon ever taken. No one has done any better. The Europeans haven't. The Chinese haven't, the Japanese haven't, and even NASA after that never had any better, higher resolution. This summer, NASA will launch a lunar orbiter that will take new pictures of the moon's surface. Comparing new images to those taken 40 years ago will help scientists understand how the moon has changed and the impact meteor strikes have had both on the moon and on Earth. Help bring the history back from oblivion, and now it, it is going to become a value even today, what we did 40 years ago. All taking place in what's being affectionately called Mac Moons. Haven Daily, the Associated Press, Moffett Field, California.